peak. <laughs> you love that. You know you do. You know you do. And you love that too when I do that. <laughs> Anywho. Oh, hey y'all. It's me, Marty. Welcome to another video. This is going to be kind of a little uh, shop tip, uh, woodworking tip, uh, scroll sign tip, spoon carving tip, and a little demo too, kind of. <laughs> so, uh, most of you know, I I like scroll sign. I also like uh, spoon carving, okay? And uh, now I'm cutting my head off. Gosh. Anyway. <laughs> I don't like cutting my head off. No. But, um, so when I carve spoons, um, like, you know, and, and I'll, what I'll do is I'll carve spoons out of dimensional wood, dimensional lumber, and I'll also carve them out of logs, branches, and um, I just really enjoy spoon carving. And I'll do it in my shop, on the deck, in front of our house, or even in the truck or outside. I have my spoon carving stuff in my truck when I'm on the road because that's a, a form of woodworking I can do on the road. Um, actually, I also have a scroll saw with me in the truck. But um, but I can do spoon carving anywhere, and it's just really enjoyable. Anyway, um, but one thing with me, I pre-cut all my spoons on a scroll saw. I know a lot of people will use a hatchet and do it right out of a log or whatever. You can do that. But use the tools you have. It's okay to, you know, do different things. So I like to, I do all the hand, the carving, the, you know, using a hook knife on the bowl part of the spoon and all the detail carving. Um, I do all that by hand, but I pre-cut all my spoons on the scroll saw. I like to make a lot of them and give them away to people and stuff. Um, I probably have a hundred spoons in the process, different processes of making them. Anyway, um, so I pre-cut them on the, on the scroll saw just the basic shape, and then I'll do all the hand carving. So I just wanted to show you some. That, that's not really the tip. The tip, so here's a spoon. I'm going to show you this. Um, just a small spoon. I make small spoons ma mainly, but I'm starting to do some large ones too, and I'll show you. But um, so I'll just trace it. Uh, you know, I have some patterns and stuff. You know, I make up my own designs and stuff. And I'll just trace a spoon on here, and then I'll, I'll cut it on the scroll saw, and then the rest I, I'll do it by hand. Um, but here's a cool tip. Here's the tip. Um, so I'll scroll saw this out. See, I have the pattern on there with a spoon. I'm going to scroll saw this out, but this is three quarter inch wood. So I'll use three quarter inch wood or one inch thick wood. And then, you know, I'll cut it out and then I'll carve it. Right. But I started doing that. I thought there's a lot of wood there. I'm carving away a lot. Why not get two spoons out of it by resawing it? Yes, you can resaw on the scroll saw. <coughs> Most people think band saw when you're going to resaw wood. Well, you can resaw on the scroll saw if you're very careful and you take it slow and it's small things. You know, the, the, the depth here on a scroll saw is only about two inches. So you can only do that thick. Well, spoons are only like an inch, inch and a half wide. So it works. So I'm going to show you how I do this. So, um, and it's really simple. You just take it slow, but it's really cool because you can get two spoons out of it. Okay. Get you a little closer here. Um, so first I'm just going to cut, cut the spoon out. Okay. <clears throat> Put a new blade in here. So it should be good. This is poplar. If it was harder wood, I'd put uh, clear packing tape on the back, but I don't need it for this. So I'm just going to cut it out. Now I have my dust blower out of the way because I need it out of the way to resaw when it's thicker. Um, and yeah. So there's a little bit more dust than usual.
is my pre-cut spoon, all ready for carving. But see how thick it is? You know, I'm going to carve away a lot of that wood. Why not get two spoons out of it? So I'm going to resize. So then I put it on this direction. So I'm putting it on end, and it sits flat because the scroll, you know, cuts straight. So now you just go through this. Now you're going through a thicker piece here. So when you do this, I always start with a spoon and the handle. And just go through slow, especially if you're doing maple or oak or other ones. I wouldn't do oak spoons, but maple or cherry or something, go really slow. You might even want to put tape on it, but... Um, this is poplar, so it's not too hard. So it's going to go really slow. Sometimes I break a blade because you're going through thick wood, but I just take it slow. And I'm just splitting it. I'm just splitting it down the middle. I'm not even going to draw a line or anything. I'm just splitting it down the middle because it will be carved anyway. So you just go really slow. I just kind of hold the back and then I start to hold both sides because it's going to be two spoons in the end. Just go through really slow. Don't push hard. It's burning a little bit. Now I'm through the bowl part, so now it'll be easier because it's a lot thinner. So then I just grab the back of it and hold it from the back. Is that cool or what? <laughs> Make some kind of little instrument. Or play spoons. Remember people used to play spoons? Boy, that day to me. Anyway, two exactly same spoons. Is that sweet or what? And they're still thick enough. They're still like, gosh, almost three eighths of an inch thick. Two spoons. And you get two out of one by re them on this girl saw. And it wasn't that hard. So I pre-cut all my spoons on the scroll saw. I'll cut one like that, and then I re-saw them to get two of them. I don't know, just a quick little tip there. If you're, if you, well, and you can actually use this tip on a lot of things. If you're making different things, re-saw them and get two out of it. You know, I just, yeah, I like that. So I'm going to show you here. I started carving um, some thicker or th bigger spoons. I want to make some like uh, cooking spoons and stuff. So I did one of the, I did this today. And I resawed it. So now I got two big cooking spoons, like stirring spoons. And uh, so I am starting to make some bigger spoons. <clears throat> so I got it. These are all yellow birch. That's one of my favorite woods. So we're, and I even made some big ones here. These are really big ones. So uh, <coughs> a spoon here. This is going to be a spatula. And this is going to be kind of a strainer spoon. And I'm going to... I'm going to resaw all of these. So I'm going to get like 12 spoons here out of six. So yeah, just a quick little tip that you can resaw on the scroll saw. You can put it on edge and you can get two out of one, especially when you're using thick wood. Why not? And otherwise you're just shaving it away um, or it's thicker than it needs to be. So yeah, just a little quick tip there. And again, you can only do it two inches thick because that's what most scroll saws are, this height here. So it, it can only be two inches thick. So you're limited on the re-sign you can do, but there's, I do lots of little things and this is really nice for spoons. So you can split them in half and get two out of one. So anyway, quick little tip there for you. Uh, I hope you all have a wonderful day and we'll see you on the next video.